us to wait and you can film us pressing the buttons. I'm already filming. <laughs> My name is Lauren Ames. I'm a third year PhD student in Ken Haynes' lab at Exeter University. Uh, we work on a um, pathogenic fungi called Candida labrata. At the moment I'm looking at Candida labrata specific genes, um, hoping um, to find out how it's become a pathogen. <laughs> I'm Jane Usher and I work for Ken Haynes in the University of Exeter. I work in Cervicii doing SJ screens on cell separation knockout strains and then I work on mapping the transcription factors in Candida vibrata under stress conditions. You can basically you can amplify up to you have 96 here and then it'll go to the 3A. My name is Melanie, I'm a PhD student and I work on fungi. Um, I do stress response, so I'm looking at all of the uh, gene knockouts that we have in our yeast and that's why the robot helps us because instead of doing it by hand we can use the robot. Because we do work on such a large scale, a lot of screening work, a lot of phenotype screens, mating screens, SGA screens, we were doing that all by hand which meant either petting or using replicators which aren't as accurate and it also took us a lot longer and took up a lot more bench space to do. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to do even a couple of conditions and screen the, we've got 700 mutants, so to screen 700 mutants on a single condition is seven plates and that's without doing any replicates. So before we got the robot it was taking me about five hours to, to spot 100 plates and now with the robot it does it in an hour. So we have a library plate in the black square and we are replicating that four times on two solid plates to make a number of copies of our library. Because it's got the computer, it's got quite an easy interface to use. Um, it's all visual and it's quite obvious um, what you want to do. I was trained on it for maybe 20 minutes, just someone showed me what to do for the first couple of times and from then on I've been able to use it myself. It's pretty much idiot proof, uh, which is great. Um, and the touchscreen really helps it just guide you through the whole process. Any library that works in yeast or has um, access to libraries, such as a yeast library, does any sort of screening, uh, mating assays, you could use it for loads of stuff. Labs that are invested in high throughput screens and developing novel protein protein interactions for uncharacterized strains and novel knockouts. I'm just enjoying the robot. Yeah.